what you want to do is you want to take the branch and you want to take all of the little limbs and kind of make this circular feel with all the branches so that they interact with all the others. There's not really any big gaps or holes because I've made all of these this round circular shape. Well, I work from the inside of the tree out that's another thing that people do they hang everything on the edge and when you can see through the tree and see you know metal branches and big clusters of plug-ins that automatically makes it look like an artificial tree mm -hmm. so I start with something soft like this gold mesh and I lay it inside the branches Colors these days are all over the board for Christmas. A lot of people are using a lot of brown and copper for Christmas. A lot of people use black and silver. From an interior design standpoint, red and green are um, direct complements on the color well. So that means that they work together simply by the theory of color. Um, using good ribbon is really important. This is four inch French wired ribbon. So it's uh, a good ribbon. And uh, the tray's nine foot, and I'd say these are at least 15, because you need more ribbon than the tree is. I usually do three bows around the top to make it nice and full. Now these are floral picks. Uh, you can make your own, but I found these already made and they, they worked perfectly for our theme. So you just want to fluff them up, make them pretty. And they basically just go in the branch and they'll stay put. What they do is they add dimension to the tree and they do fill in gaps and holes. As you see how this coming out of the tree brings it more to life. Yeah. Well, if you'll notice all the red ones that are hanging right now, they're all buried in the tree. They're not hanging out on the tips. And what that does is fill up the tree so that you can't see through it. Typically interior designers pretty much go by the mantra, less is more, except at Christmas time.